We begin in Kakana, where a police standoff leads to an area locked down for hours, leaving many in the dark about what happened. Reporter Andrew Amuzu takes us through what we know. I'm in Kakana, where an all-day active threat to this area is now over. Police say around 10.30 this morning, officers responded to the River Ridge apartments to a possible domestic incident. A stay-away order was then issued for several hours. Nobody knows what's going on. For the next six hours, witnesses and area residents questioned the long lockdown and large police presence. Alex Van Wyken was going on a bike ride when he saw the increased police presence in the area. I heard all the sirens and came down here and there's tons of squad cars over at the station right now. On my friend's story, there was a big old SWAT APC at the uh, station earlier. It's probably back there right now. The SWAT team was called to the scene and police say the suspect refused to leave the residence and made threatening comments. As a result, police ordered people to stay away from the area. Carl Lagerman was heading to Ghost Town Fitness during the lockdown, a gym just steps away from the River Ridge Apartments. When I first pulled up to the gym itself, I saw there were, say, about three, four cars or squad cars pulled up, give or take, with the street, like, blocked off. And I was just kind of like, that's not normal. And I saw people, like, getting turned around and everything. People returning home were told to park on the side of the street until the area was clear. In an update on Facebook, police say the suspect walked out of the apartment and was taken into custody. Two more people were taken into custody after that. No, I'm coming here six days a week around this time, too, and I've never seen something something like this. The SWAT team and Kakona police both cleared the area around 4.30 p.m. And a statement regarding just exactly what happened, police say it's going to be released soon. In Kakona, Andrew Muzu, NBC 26.